Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Goretti, and today this is going to be a special reading for the collective. So whoever is watching uh, this reading, whoever's on my channel, comes across my channel um, and whenever you watch this actually it will apply it is a general reading it might not resonate for everybody take what resonates leave the rest swap the roles no gender specific in the cards um, I am going to do the astrology piece first because this full moon in Capricorn that we are having it is the second one that we're having this year which is quite rare um, the actual full moon I believe is happening on the 21st I'm recording this on the 19th so we're already in that full moon energy I'm going to break it all down for you because this is a very very important full moon I cannot stress this enough this is why I'm doing this reading it is called the buck full moon and I'll explain why that is as well so first I am going to cleanse our energy space which is actually something that is really important to do during full moon times um, but especially during this time so cleansing your space cleansing your um, energy is very important so removing all negative energies and entities and any evil eye from your space and mine thank you it is done it is done and so it is all right my love so let's get into it i do have some notes here um my nose is getting itchy already you guys so i have some notes here because i don't want to miss anything this is a jam-packed full moon like i have been saying so my apologies if the lighting isn't great doing my best here okay so the buck full moon the reason it is called that is because this is going to be a time for us to really um connect with nature okay so i'm going to cover all the important things about this full moon first thing is this full moon is all about growth and renewal so this is going to signal a lot of change in our lives but it's positive change it is letting go of things you know that don't serve us that are not good for us that are um you know hindering our progress you know in our life so this is like sorry guys my chair is like <laughs> not sitting properly um so this is gonna be um you know in your uh health maybe in your finances maybe in your home this is a good time you know to like declutter to um you know assess and change you know maybe your diet your fitness um your lifestyle your routine your schedule your habits all of those kinds of things okay this can also bring up a lot of chaos both in our world in our environment, in our lives, in our homes, and also within ourselves. But know that this is going to lead to order, okay? Because Capricorn is the daddy of the zodiac, right? All about rules and structure and um, abundance and stability and ruled by Saturn, which is all about lessons. So this is also about like lessons that we've had to learn in our life. If there are things that we need to let go of that we've been doing maybe our whole lives that just isn't working anymore um, or whatever it is that we're doing that isn't working, we need to release those things. So amongst the chaos, this is a time to just ride the wave. This is a time where you really need to tap into that spirituality piece of you, your heart space, your spirit, you know, spending time with, you know, the divine source energy, God, the universe, and really have faith that everything is going to work out. You want to be really positive at this time, okay, and have faith and trust that you are being led and guided uh, where you're supposed to. Okay, but remember, we also don't want to tap into the ego. We really want to pay attention to our heart and what our spirit wants and not the fear. And I'll talk more about that. So this is going to be a time of really encouraging a lot of emotional releases from past experiences and traumas. And this is happening. So you might have stuff come up, memories, dreams, uh, feelings, um, you know, negative things. And the reason is because, and it could go back to your childhood. It could be past relationships. It could be past life experiences as an adult, whatever it is. This is all happening for you to release it for good. 
once and for all. Let it go for good because you guys know Pluto, you know, is has left uh, Capricorn going back in a little bit in the fall here in September, October, November, and then fully out for good. This is all happening for our highest good. We need to release traumas and experiences that were negative and not good for us from the past. It needs to be gone once and for all, okay? This is also, this full moon is going to be a time because of that, that even if you don't have actual like thoughts and visions and dreams and, um, you know, um, what's the word? I lost my train of thought. Uh, whatever it is that's coming up for you, just know that you might not have actual, you know, thoughts about it. You might just have the feelings bubbling up. So this is a time that you might actually be more emotional. Like all of a sudden you start crying. I know I've already experienced this. Um, you know, I feel the, you know, energies quite a few days before full moons and new moons. And this one has been really a lot about like releasing, just like letting stuff go without even having any kind of ideas or thoughts about it ideas that was the word so this is going to be a time for us to really let go of any old baggage that is heavy for us letting go of the heaviness so that we can move forward lighter and freer in our lives this is for us to release those things that just you know we shouldn't be carrying anymore okay if you know the um, story about uh, the two monks walking in the forest and the lady and carrying her and look that up, I'm not going to go into it right now, but it's a really great story to kind of talk about releasing, um, you know, it, it's, I guess, a parable. It is to release these things and no longer carry it because you don't have to carry it anymore. And it's a choice. Okay. So. The third thing uh, to talk about is this is a time where our intuition is going to be heightened. We're going to feel things more. We're going to sense things more. Okay, we're going to have, you know, if you have any kind of gift, psychic abilities, I mean, we all do, but it's going to be heightened a lot more. So this is a time that we don't want to listen to our fears. We want to listen, okay, to what your heart and soul wants. So what does your heart and soul want? That's what you want to listen to. Not your logical mind, not the ego mind, right? Where, you know, it brings up fears because that's what's in your subconscious. That's the traumas and the past experiences we're trying to release. So don't listen to the logical mind. This is a time to really tap into your heart and soul. What does your spirit want? Okay. Next thing, our manifesting abilities are going to be really heightened at this time. So pay attention to your thoughts, your feelings, your um, kind of daydreams. What are you thinking before you go to sleep, when you first wake up, throughout the day? What stories are you telling yourself? You want to make sure that these are going to be positive. You want to focus on positive thoughts. You want to focus on what you want, not what you don't want. What you have, not what you don't have. Okay, so we want to focus on the positive so that we can, because we're going to manifest at rapid speeds during this time our abilities are enhanced when it comes to manifesting so we want to make sure that we're focusing on the positive and what it is that we want to manifest and create not what we don't so this is also a really good time to uh, focus on gratitude okay um, this is going to be time also, so make sure that you're doing, you know, your gratitude list and, and things like that. Uh, that will be really helpful. And if you do any manifestation rituals or practices, um, any techniques, any tools, things like that, this is a time that you really, really want to kind of double down on those. Okay. So manifest your dreams, you guys. Um, the other thing is reconnecting with nature. This is going to be a time that we're going to be naturally kind of drawn to reconnect with nature. Um, because this is a time where really, you know, Capricorn is very grounded energy. This is a time that we're, um, connecting with the universe on very deep levels. This this natural reconnection with nature is naturally going to bring a lot more calm and peace into our lives. 
into our hearts, into our world, okay? Um, so this is a time that you're going to want to do a lot of grounding uh, energies. So maybe doing tree baths, spending more time in nature, tree hugging, going for walks in nature, um, you know, touching, you know, plants and trees, walking on the grass barefoot, sitting on the grass, going, you know, to the beach, spending time near water. Anything that where we are connecting to nature is what we want to really be focusing on at this time. So nature walks spend a lot of time in nature during this period of five to seven days so from the 19th to like the 25th 26th this is a time that we really want um to connect with nature because it's going to be very healing uh you want to do it during you know with silence so even meditating or just being in silent and just like really connecting to nature and enjoying that time this is really going to ground you and going to bring in a lot of healing okay so a lot of healing and grounding now my suggestions this is going to be a really great time for us to meditate and release a lot of negative energy, negative beliefs, negative thoughts, anything that is negative within our mind, body, and spirit. It's a time for releasing, so it's a great time to do a lot of meditation, okay? This is also a really get, great time for cleansing, cleansing our home, right? Cleansing our energy space, uh, as I just did, cleansing our body, right? cleansing our mind so you want to really focus on cleansing at this time this is also a time like i said med or uh, manifestation practices but also prayers this is a really great time for praying because miracles can happen during this time i just got spirituals on that journaling is another good thing to do during this time journaling can get our thoughts and feelings out uh it's also something i do uh for manifesting so scripting uh if you do that this is a really great time for us to you know kind of get it out there and anything we want to release as well it's a good time uh to write down if you like using crystals, if you work with crystals, this is a great time for us to put them under the moon so that they can cleanse and recharge. Also, if you wanna create moon water, this is a really good time to put water out under the moon um, as well. All right, my loves, so that is everything I have in regards to the full moon and the astrology. Now let's get into the reading. I've already pre-shuffled the cards. I will cut them on camera though. All right, so for the collective, um, courage at the bottom of the first deck, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. You guys, literally, this is, you know, when we're going to have to face that fear. Um, this is, you know, a time for us to have courage, bravery to face those fears um, and to be able to release them because to release them, we do have to face them. But this is a time for us to have the courage to finally let those things go once and for all because sometimes we hold on to old experiences, you know, beliefs, um, traumas, things like that because it's comfortable because it's what we know. It's familiar. So this is having a courage for us to face our fears and release them. All right, my loves. So bottom of the deck, we have pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So this is a time also if there's any pride issues, pride is ego, any kind of ego issues, releasing those, seeing yourself through the eyes of love, through the eyes of the divine, and also seeing others through those eyes as well. And then top of the deck, you guys, relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Who are the good people in your life? The people that bring you joy, that bring you happiness, that bring you peace, that bring you love. These are the people that we want, the people that are very supportive, that are really loving and kind and nurturing in our lives, that are good for our soul, I just heard. These are the people that you want in your life. This is also a time of purging people that aren't good for you and to really hold on and connect to the people that are. This is absolutely beautiful, you guys. Oh my goodness. And if you do have Capricorn in your chart, this is also, you know, the year for relationships. So bottom of this deck, we have discovery. So many of you discovering what your dreams are and discovering, listening to the intuition of what does your heart and spirit want and also listening to the divine listening to God, source, the universe. What is it um, that you want? All right, my loves. So, and then you guys can't even make this up. All right. 
So at the bottom we have release. Oh, sorry guys. Release. It's super hot where I am actually. So that's why I have my hair up, but release. Look at what you're releasing. Things that are dead from the past. The past is old news. It's dead anything uh you know that no longer serves you from the past look at how you know this person looks in this picture what i saw was fear so releasing fears releasing the past releasing traumas releasing what is dead and gone what has already happened let it go release these things okay and top of the deck both of these cards came out balance and expansion so this is a time for us to really kind of balance our lives and also for us to expand our horizons but also expand ourselves spiritually expand ourselves you know when it comes to family or connecting with others maybe it's you know uh like i said spiritually right expanding our awareness expanding our knowledge um and expanding you know uh, our energy i just heard as well when it comes to connecting to you know source energy the universe the divine okay um but what i'm getting with this is also you're bringing things into balance this is also like the justice card i'm getting karma is coming in to kind of bring in things and expand your world in a positive way all right confirmation there with the itchy nose sorry guys <laughs> so bottom of the next deck you guys can't even make this up we got card number 32 which goes down to a five five is all about change that's what this full moon's all about conquer fear conquer your fears you guys this is a time to release the fear i am telling you most fear is based on illusions fear is not real it is false evidence appearing real right on truths we deny to avoid change release your need for control and perfection doing your best is plenty this is a time of authenticity this is a time for us to really accept ourselves and others fully all right my loves what else do we have oh you guys this is so beautiful practice self-care was there too but we have card number 20 share your light and a beautiful butterfly there. This is talking about transformation. This is a symbolic death and rebirth. There is transformation within you, within your light, within your soul, within your heart. Share your trials as well as your triumphs. Your stories benefit you in the telling and others in the hearing, spreading the light of transformation. So this is telling, you know, your story to other people to help. This is sharing with others. This is not holding on to things and trying to do it all on your own. This is a time for us to really shine and share our light with others, okay? And that means sharing our difficulties. Maybe it's going for counseling. Maybe it's, you know, talking to friends and family or somebody that, you know, you trust and feel close with. Sharing with them, them sharing with you. You know, I do this with my clients, you know, uh, as well in my counseling practice. And this is part of the healing process. And then top of the deck, 43, which is a seven, which is all about luck. Love all. Love all. Loving yourself and others. Your compassion is incomplete until it includes yourself. This is having compassion for yourself. Release self-judgment. Release self-punishment. Release self-loathing. Release self-sabotage release shame and guilt and self-sabotage is a big one for a lot of you the reflection of your love begins with you you guys let go of this old heavy stuff so that you can finally be free to live the life that you were meant to live all right my get my guys <laughs> my loves Ooh. I was preaching there. Spirit was coming through loud and clear. Okay. So I had pre-shuffled the deck. I was going to shuffle it again. Spirit told me to look at the bottom of the deck. Temperance. All right. This is balance. This is healing. This is the divine coming in. Your angels. Okay. To balance things out. Also alchemy. Okay. And underneath that we have the high priestess. That is the knowing. The all knowing. That is your intuition. Connecting to your intuition. All right. Finding balance and connecting to your intuition. So let's see what the reading has for us. <laughs> the moon at the bottom of the deck you can't even make this up so this is during this full moon this is about fears illusions 
subconscious mind releasing these things you guys i just got spirituals on that and then we have page of swords so this is like new information um this could be new insights this also could be somebody has their eye on you or you have their eye your, your eye on somebody this could be incoming communication as well during this time and then we have the two of cups oh my goodness you guys this is the bottom of the deck this is what you don't see coming or what is in your subconscious that you might be manifesting ten of cups this is the happily ever after this is the family this is the everything this is the relationship the health the the money the home the career so some of you could be getting like new insights new information that leads you to this as well during this time and you guys the empress oh my goodness so you could be dealing with a divine feminine or this could be you or this is talking about creating creating your dream life and for others of you this could be um you know maybe you have your eye on an empress or an empress has their eye on you and then we have the sun card this is illumination this is happiness this is joy you guys i'm also getting with the sun this could be uh lion's gate 8 8 portal so something is going to shift during this time this full moon that is actually going to complete during lion's gate uh it is going to bring you so much happiness and bliss you guys and knight of cups so this is you going towards what you love or who you love or somebody coming towards you offering their cup of love um or vice versa and king of wands okay so somebody could be a fire sign and king of swords somebody could be an air sign or this could be you or this other person embodying both or you guys might have some options eight of cups walking away from what no longer serves you and the strength card courage and bravery over what nine of swords fear sleepless nights okay you guys let's get into this i only have a few minutes left to go through this reading oh you guys you can't even can't even make this up oh oh my god okay you guys i gotta stop pulling cards too many center of your spread ace of wands passionate new beginning this could be you really connecting to what you're passionate about remember i said what your heart wants what your soul wants what your spirit wants okay this could be creativity as well what we're aware of is the eight of wands the eight of wands is communication so this could be this is also um so it could be fast communication fast movement some of you guys could be moving or traveling at this time this could be uh something finally starts moving in your life this is also my arrows of desire so this could be what you're manifesting you're putting putting your uh order out into the universe okay this also could be um passionate communication because it is one so it could be passionate communication this used to be like the cupid's arrows okay so that could be happening at this time in the recent past we have knight of swords somebody could have run is what i'm getting but also this could have been something moving very quickly also this could be really clear communication or this could be fast communication happening what you're not aware of is the four of wands this is my 11 11 card you guys i just got spirituals uh this could be a twin flame connection or this could be just a journey even uh twin flame could be within yourself if you resonate with that you don't have to again this is about a home and celebration so somebody uh some of you could be moving homes others of you this could be about a commitment what you don't see coming is that uh this could be you you know creating this family moving towards uh, a higher level Level of commitment creating this family moving you know homes uh moving in together you know taking your commitment to the next level whatever this is or this could be peace and harmony even within yourself masculine and feminine energies balancing out those both okay sorry guys for the focusing there what you are uh what what your advice is what spirit is asking for you to do we have the death card now this is not a death this is talking about a symbolic death an end to the past negative fears any kind of toxicity toxic energies traumas experiences anything that no longer serves you self-sabotage all of those things right w old ways of doing things old ways of thinking old ways of feeling those have to go there needs to be a death a symbolic death and a rebirth there has to be a transformation spirit is asking for you to put an end to those past things once and for all for good so that you can transform and there could be a rebirth 
All right. So what do we have here? As your potential outcome, we have the Ten of Swords. Now, this might seem scary to you, but Ten of Swords, Tens are all about completion. This is talking about any pain and suffering. Anything that has ca caused pain and suffering in your life is coming to completion. It is coming to an end. Next to the death, pain and suffering, backstabbing, lies, deception, whatever it is, whatever Ten of Swords, any burdens, you know, whether this is relationships or health or money or situations, whatever it is, this is all coming to an end. Spirit is asking for you to transform, but it starts in your mind. Clarifying this, we have the Queen of Cups. This is that love and compassion. The Queen of Cups is really um, loving and nurturing and kind. She's also the counselor, right? She also is very intuitive and empathic. So this could be you really connecting to maybe a counselor or somebody who is like this and really trusting and and um getting that help to be able to put you know the pain and suffering to an end we have the star card the star is about healing during this full moon here this is going to be a time of healing but also this is wish fulfillment so for some of you you could be ending a painful cycle with someone who is a queen of cups energy here male or female remember swap the roles take it how it resonates we all embody both energies right could be your wish fulfillment here putting an end to a painful cycle with this person possibly somebody who rejected you or that you rejected them or if you feel or they feel like this was a missed opportunity this opportunity the ace of cups this is a brand new opportunity for love or creativity look she is holding the ace of cups this person has their heart open to you it is safe for you to take that from the universe because it is an offer coming in from the universe from the divine and now you are seeing this offer so again spending time in nature okay meditating those three cups that have spilled over forget those and only look at the one cup the ace of cups that is in front of you all right my loves and further clarifying we have the ten of pentacles you guys this is your legacy this is the everything this is wish fulfillment this is contentment this is you feeling really fulfilled in your life this also could be um you know about money because we do see uh, the money here so this could be like sudden wealth this could be you know finally you know money and everything going well whatever your wishes are relationships money anything tangible this is having it all and then the world card you guys this i just got spirituals we are completing painful cycles it is done the painful cycles from the past is done and now we are starting new right this is starting a new cycle and it is going to be successful bring you a lot of joy and fulfillment and spirit told me to look for the ace of cups because we were talking about that you guys are definitely dropping burdens yep keep going you guys don't give up because the wheel of fortune is with the fool and the nine of wands keep going your luck is going to change the wheel is turning here okay things are going to change take a leap of faith it is a new beginning here all right my loves so let's see let's see clarity as well with the hierophant so some of you and the emperor oh my goodness okay you guys i do there could be communication coming in possibly okay uh in regards to commitment from an emperor or vice versa because we did have the empress here so this is divine counterparts all right so definitely success and victory and communication uh from divine masculine coming in with reciprocity giving and receiving equally okay after a time of healing and you guys the king of cups okay uh another divine counterpart so definitely there's gonna be possibly connections uh coming in so king and queen of cups there as well and judgment underneath that so this person or you have had a wake-up call this is also about reconciliation so uh you know people coming together and eight of pentacles yeah this is gonna take some work and effort uh working together to build something with the page of pentacles here okay sorry guys don't know why i'm going through all of that but spirit told me to so ace of cups ace of cups where is the ace of cups ace of cups okay ace of cups nine of pentacles and king of pentacles you guys capricorn capricorn 
I know this is, you know, Taurus or Virgo, but I always get King of Pentacles as my Capricorn card. So this is saying that this is going to be a time of brand new opportunities, especially in love or creativity could be even self-love during this time okay this is you know taking um authority this is going to be a time of abundance especially in love and this is finally reaping the rewards of all of your hard work this is luxury this is success this is independence okay um for some of you this is you possibly connecting with somebody else here in a love connection this is coming in during these moon cycles okay and it is, I just heard, divinely guided. And this was, um, this is definitely meant for you. But you guys, this also could be this person. Uh, it could be somebody who's very stable and secure, um, especially financially, you know, kind of, yeah, you know, um, dad energy, right? But also, this is this other person, you or them, vice versa, swap the roles. This person could be very independent or you're very independent and successful. Um, you know, um, people have their eye on you is what I'm hearing as well. But you are both going to balance each other out. Lots of earth energy here. A lot of green. A lot of heart chakra. Okay. Lots of love here, you guys. All right, my loves, and then underneath that uh, or behind the King of Pentacles with the Three of Swords, this is going to be after a time of heartbreak. Uh, some of you, if you are dealing with heart issues, just pay attention to that. Um, you know, making sure that you're going to the doctor and doing all those things. But what I'm getting is for a lot of you, this is heartbreak. This is anything that hurt you from the past. You are healing from that during this time. Okay getting yourself really grounded and stable at this time but there is a beautiful opportunity here coming in from the divine look at the size of this cup it's huge in this deck all right my loves i was really guided to this deck today okay thanks so much for being here i hope that this was helpful for you don't forget to do all the things like this video comment down below that share this video and my channel with others you guys when you do any number of these things it really helps my channel to grow uh i get my messages out there and spirits messages out there and also so um, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified of new videos. And if you're new here, I would absolutely, absolutely love to have you subscribe to my channel and be part of this ever-growing butterfly family. You guys also don't forget, drink lots of water, get lots of rest, lots and lots of self-care during the full moon season. And with that timer going off, that is literally confirmation. So really take care of yourselves during this time. And as always, I wish you all peace, love, and light. Until next time, bye-bye.